This is Word Chapter 1 in the book, and this video will be a demonstration of how to complete the activities. You can rewind and watch as many times as you wish. In Word Chapter 1, we're going to make this flyer, and it's a good idea if we look and see what features the flyer has before we start. If you look up at the top, we have a page border that goes around all of the edges of the document. It's a um, little green boxes. And then we have the headline, the word adventure, with lots of formatting done to it. This is called a headline. And then we'll be entering a digital picture that you'll have to download from somewhere. So if you're my student, you'll download it from Blackboard. And if you're someone else's student, you might download it from Class Shares or from the textbook website or some other location. You have to find out from your teacher. And then we have some text. Notice that part of this text is left aligned. So it starts at the left edge of the margin and goes to the right, and the right edge is jagged. And it has uh, one term that, of breathtaking that is italicized and a color. Italicized means slanted writing. And another word that is bold writing means stronger writing. And then three items in a bulleted list. That little circle is called a bullet, and it's used for making lists. And then down at the bottom, there is a final signature line that is centered on the line, not left aligned, but centered, and then is in a color and has some underlined text. So that's what we'll be making. You can either watch or you can work and watch with me. You might open two, screen, two different screens on your monitor. I don't know. You'll have to decide how you want to work. But what we're going to do is set up a blank document. We'll do that first. When you open Microsoft Word, it opens like this. And they want you to be sure that your view, up on the View tab, your view is in the print layout view, not the read mode, not the web layout, but the print layout view, which it typically is. And then the other thing they want us to do on that home tab, there on the home tab over here on the right hand side are styles. They want you to be sure to click normal style. Next, what we're going to do is start typing in some text. Now they want us to um, type type the word adventure. That's on page five. And then the next thing they want us to do is press the enter key. Um, I mine was already turned down. This is what your document would look like. And if you go up on the home tab in the paragraph group, that last item up there is a backwards P, if you see that. And if I go up and click on that backwards P, it will turn on the Show Hide key, which then shows me paragraph markings and other kinds of markings in my documents. Those are important as we're working with more advanced materials. I forgot to give you the little item for that. There. And the next thing we'll do then is insert a blank line. That's where our graphic is going to go later, but for now we'll just press the Enter key. The zoom width lets you decide how much picture you want to see on the screen at a time. It's like a magnifying glass. It doesn't really change the size of the print. It only changes the magnifying glass. You can get to zoom up here on the View tab. And you could choose a zoom of a certain percentage, or I'm pressing the Escape key, or you could zoom to 100%, or you could look at the whole page at once, or multiple pages at once, or you could go to page width, which is actually what they ask you to do. And I'm going to zoom mine a little bit extra so it's easier for you to see. I'll do it down here in the bottom right-hand corner. There's like a progress bar or gas gauge. And if I click on the plus sign a little bit more, I can make the font zoom. I the picture zoom a little bit larger so it's bigger for you to see. I'll, 
I'll change my zoom. You don't have to, but I'll do that. Or if you have old eyes, you might want to do that. The next item in line, after we set the page width, is to work on word wrap. That's just a term. They want you to know word wrap means when you start typing on the computer, do not press the Enter key at the end of the line. Instead, just keep typing until you get to the end of the paragraph. So I'm going to actually type a word and then I'm going to pause it and finish typing so you don't have to watch me. And then um, we'll keep going. So here I'll type explore, scenic, okay? And I'll keep going. Hold on just a second. Did you wait for me? Didn't take me very long. But if you notice, if you zoom in, notice that there are little dots between the words. You see the little dots? It's not a period. It's in the center of the line. And those little dots mean you press the space bar. It does not show when you print. It only shows on the screen. And it only shows when you have the show hide key turned on. Yes, I know it bothers you. Yes, you need to learn how to do it anyway. And notice here at the end of the line, I did not press the enter key and get one of those little backwards P's. I did not. I just kept typing till I got to the end of the paragraph, which is defined as whenever you press the enter key. Next, we'll see how to do a spelling and grammar check. You can do it yourself, but it also works automatically. I'm going to press the Enter key to get down to the next line, and then I'm going to mistype a word. I misspelled tours. It does not show up until I press the space bar, and then I get a red underline. Red means spelling error, and blue means grammar error. And if I right-click right click with the mouse then it gives me a list of words that it thinks are the right words and I can choose the one that is the correct spelling and it will correct it for me. If you are using a touch screen instead of clicking, right clicking with the mouse you would press and hold it's called press and hold not tap tap is like a left click press and hold is like a right click. Well and now then I'm going to enter some more text. I'm just going to keep typing here. Tours. I have to find the rest of it. Available. There we go. Available. And then I'll press the Enter key to go to a new line. Open March through October. All vehicles. And, oops, I have a spelling error. B-H-I-C-L-S. And gear provided. Press the Enter key to book your adventure call 555-8928 exclamation mark which is press down the shift key and hold it and then press on the number one key which has the exclamation mark on the top of it. Maybe you know how to do that and maybe you don't. And the last thing we'll do in this little section is save the document. Uh, you'll have to find out from your teacher where to save your document. But I'm going to go up and click on the File tab and then click Save. And I'm going to put mine in my H drive, which actually shows up for me. But let's pretend it doesn't. I'm on my computer. You might be using OneDrive. I don't know. And then I'll click down on Browse. And the computer opens for me this window. Let me move it so you can see it better. There's an elevator here in the center that lets you choose more from the list. The quickest way is to get in the elevator and drive right on down. Even if I get out the elevator door box there, it's still okay. And here I have my H drive. I don't know where you're going to save yours. Maybe you have a travel drive. I don't know. And my H drive. And mm, I might have had a folder, although I didn't make one. So I'm just going to click down here in the file name. And they call, told us to call it Adventure Flyer. Please don't let the computer name your files for you. It will give it the name that is the first word of your document or the first line of your document. Don't let the computer do that. You name it. And then click Save. Notice up here, if you look, watch up here, you watch when I save, you watch and it changes from document one to 
Adventure Flyer, you see? It's now called Adventure Flyer. That's how you know what your file is called. All right, we'll stop this video now, and then we'll continue with another video in the next section.